Hi, this is AJ from WPXworld.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create equal height pricing tables in the total workforce team. So right here, I just have a simple table, uh, two pricing tables, and you can see they're both the same height, and that's because all the content inside of it is basically the same size. Now, in some situations, you might have a pricing table where the features might be bigger than the one of the other one. So for example, if I edit this one, let me add a testing feature. Let me add one more. So now you can see this pricing table is bigger than this one. Now, if you want these two um, sections to be the same height, to give the impression that the pricing tables are also the same height, there isn't a built-in option for that. And that's because pricing tables can be added in any row. So you can like literally place, place a pricing table anywhere. So there's basically no correlation between this pricing table and this one. There's no relation between the two. However, the total team does have built-in functions for equal height. So you can actually do it via some custom classes. So if you edit the row where your pricing tables are, and you give this row the custom, a custom class name called match height grid, like this, save that. Then you can give any items that you want them to be the same height, a match height content class. So for example, if I edit the features in text mode, I can give this class equals match height content like this. Save that. And then let's add it to our other one. That. And save. And so you won't see the result on the uh, page more, but if you update it and then you refresh it live, you should see that now they're both the same height. And if we inspect the code, you can see that there's a height added now. Um, see right here. So you can see the height is added now to make sure that they're both the same height. And that's pretty much it.